today we will discuss the difference between differentiability and continuity of derivative f dash we will begin with an example we are given this function fx which is defined as x square sin 1 upon x when x is equal to 0 and it is 0 when x is equal to 0 first we will check continuity of this function fx now its left hand limit which is f0 negative it will be limit h tends to 0 0 minus h square into sine 1 upon minus h so it will be limit h tends to 0 and then minus h square sine 1 upon h now before solving any limit we check its form so here its form is 0 into sine infinite now sine infinite is oscillating value between minus 1 and plus 1 and 0 into anything finite is 0 so its left hand limit is 0 in the same way we will find its right hand limit right hand limit for this function will be f0 positive and will be limit h tends to 0 and then 0 plus h so it will be simply h square and then sine 1 upon h now again the form is 0 into sine infinite which again is 0 now left hand limit is 0 right hand limit is 0 and value of f0 value of f0 is 0 since left hand limit is equal to the right hand limit is equal to function value at 0 we can say that this function is continuous at x equals 0 and other than x equals 0 this function is always continuous and differentiable so we can say that this function f is continuous in x belongs to r now we'll check its differentiability or in the question they may ask you to find f dash 0 in order to check its differentiability we'll find its left hand derivative and we know that left hand derivative at 0 will be f dash 0 negative and we can write this as limit h tends to 0 f 0 minus h minus f 0 upon minus h so it will be limit h tends to 0 now f 0 minus h will be minus h square sine 1 upon h minus 0 upon minus h now here minus will cancel this h will also cancel now again we will check the form so here it will be 0 into sine infinite again 0 into oscillating value minus 1 to 1 and 0 into anything finite is 0 so it's left hand derivative is 0 now we'll find its right hand derivative so its right hand derivative which is f dash 0 positive it will be limit h tends to 0 f 0 plus h minus f 0 upon h we can write this as limit h tends to 0 now f 0 plus h is h square sine 1 upon h minus 0 upon h now here h and h will cancel now here again it is 0 into sine infinite and 0 into sine infinite is 0 again so here left hand derivative it is 0 and right hand derivative is also 0 so left hand derivative at 0 is equal to right hand derivative at 0 so it simply means that this function is differentiable at x equals 0 so fx is differentiable in x belongs to r and if we have to find f dash 0 f dash 0 for this function will be simply 0 now what about continuity of f dash now for continuity of f dash x what we'll do is we'll first find f dash x so for this function f dash x will be x square as it is and then cos 1 by x into minus 1 upon x square plus 2x into sine 1 upon x now here x square will cancel so we can write f dash x as minus cos 1 upon x plus 2x sine 1 upon x now if we'll find this limit limit x tends to 0 f dash x it will be 
limit x tends to 0 minus cos 1 by x plus 2x sin 1 by x. Now this limit we don't have a problem with it because it will be 0 into sin infinite but here we are getting minus cos infinite. Now 0 into sin infinite will be 0 but this minus cos infinite will be an oscillating value between minus 1 and plus 1. So this limit x tends to 0 f dash x it is not a finite number rather it is an oscillating number. So it simply means that this limit does not exist. So from here we can say f dash x is not continuous at x equals 0. So for this function it is differentiable at 0 but its derivative f dash x is not continuous at x equals 0. Now here we are given four functions f1, f2, f3 and f4 and we have to match them. Now this f1 is sin under root of 1 minus e to the power of minus x square. Now we know that e to the power of minus x square it will be greater than 0 and less than or equal to 1. So 1 minus e to the power minus x square will be greater than or equal to 0 and at this value all these functions they are defined. So this f1x it is continuous but if we find f1 dash x it will be cos under root 1 minus e to the power minus x square and it will be 2 into under root of 1 minus e to the power minus x square minus e to the power minus x square into 2x. Now when x is 0 this denominator it does not exist. So it is not differentiable at x equal to 0. So this function fx it is continuous but not differentiable at 0. So this p it matches with 2. So this p it matches with 2. Now function f2. Now f2 is mod sin x upon 10 inverse x it is 1 when x is equal to 0. Now we take this limit x tends to 0. So this 0 negative will be minus sin x upon 10 inverse x and if we divide and multiply with x this limit is minus 1 and limit x tends to 0 positive it will be sin x upon 10x again this is plus 1. So here left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit. So this function is not continuous at x equal to 0. That means this q it matches with 1. Now if you look at this r, r is this function f3 and f3 is greatest near function of sin log x plus 2 in the neighborhood of x equal to 0 this value is sin log 2 now log 2 is 0 0.3010 and at this point this sign it will lie between 0 and 1 so that means this function f3x in the neighborhood of 0 will be a constant function whose value is 0 and if it is 0 it is both continuous and differentiable and we find its derivative it will also be continuous. So this function it will be differentiable at 0 and its derivative is continuous at x equals to 0. So this r it matches with 4. And the next one is this f4x. Now for continuity it will be this h square sin 1 by h which is 0 into oscillating value minus 1 to 1 which is 0. So this function will be continuous and for differentiability it will be h sin 1 by h which again is 0 into sin infinite minus 1 to 1 it will be 0. So it will be differentiable at x equal to 0 but if we find its derivative it will be x square cos 1 by x minus 1 upon x square and plus 2x sin 1 by x. Now here this value will cancel. Now I will oscillate between minus 1 and plus 1 and here this value will be 0. So it is an oscillating value. So f4 it will be differentiable but its derivative is not continuous at x equals 0. So that means this s it matches with 3. So this correct option is this option D.
Now question number 30 is we have to find its continuity and differentiability and continuity of its derivative. Now f 0 will be 1 minus cos 0 1 so it will be 0 into oscillating value minus 1 to 1 which is 0. So this fx will be continuous at x equals 0. I will find f dash 0 will be limit h tends to 0. 1 minus cos h upon h into sine 1 by h we multiply by h and divide by h so it will be 0 into 1 by 2 into oscillating value minus 1 to 1 which is 0 so this function is both continuous and differentiable and x belongs to r now we have to find continuity of its derivative now if we find f dash x it will be 1 minus cos x into cos 1 by x into minus 1 upon x square plus sin x into sin 1 by x. Now if we find f dash 0 positive it will be now this is 1 minus cos x upon x square which is minus 1 by 2 and this is cos infinite which is oscillating value from minus 1 to plus 1 and this right hand side will be 0 into oscillating value minus 1 to plus 1. So we are getting this value as oscillating value between minus 1 by 2 and plus 1 by 2. That means this function is differentiable but its derivative is discontinuous and that's your option C. Now from tomorrow onwards again I'm traveling so I don't know when I'll be able to solve the UGB paper. I'll try to do it as early as possible. A similar question was asked in CMI 2017 paper and the question was consider the following function fx equals x square cos 1 upon x when x is unequal to 0 and a at x equals 0. Now the first question was find the value of a for which this function is continuous. So if this function is continuous then f0 it must be equal to this limit x tends to 0 fx. Now what is f0? f0 is a and then limit x tends to 0 here it is x square cos 1 upon x. Now this is 0 into cos infinite which is 0 into finite oscillating value between minus 1 and plus 1. So its value will be 0. So this function will be continuous when the value of a is 0. So that is the answer to this a part. Now in part b we need to find f dash 0. Now for f dash 0 we will find left hand derivative f dash 0 negative which will be limit h tends to 0, 0 minus h square into cos 1 upon minus h minus 0 upon minus h. So, it will be limit h tends to 0 minus h cos 1 upon h which is 0 into cos infinite and that is 0. So, its left hand derivative is 0. Now, right hand derivative at 0, it will be f dash 0 positive limit h tends to 0 0 plus h square cos 1 upon h minus 0 upon h so it will be limit h tends to 0 h cos 1 upon h and it will be 0 into cos infinite which again is 0 so this function is differentiable at x equals to 0 and the value of f dash 0 will be simply 0 now what about this limit? Limit x tends to 0, f dash 0. So actually this should be limit x tends to 0, f dash x. So if we write this limit, it will be limit x tends to 0. This derivative will be x square and then minus sign 1 upon x minus 1 upon x square plus 2x cos 1 upon x. Now here x square will cancel, we will write limit x tends to 0 sin 1 upon x plus 2x cos 1 upon x sin 1 upon x is sin infinite which is oscillating value between minus 1 and plus 1 and this is 0 so for this limit we are not getting any exact answer we are getting an oscillating value so that means this limit it does not exist A similar question was again asked in ISI 2020 QRR PQA paper. 
Now here we are given this function fx as e to the power minus 1 upon x when x is greater than 0 and it is 0 when x is less than or equal to 0. Now first we will check its continuity. Now f 0 negative when x is less than 0 it is 0 and also the value at 0 is 0. Now what about f 0 positive it will be this limit. Limit h tends to 0 e to the power minus 1 upon h. It will be e to the power minus infinite and we know that e to the power minus infinite is 0. So f0 negative is equal to f0 positive is equal to f0. So it simply means that this function is continuous at x equals 0. Now other than 0, they are continuous and differentiable. So this function f is continuous in x belongs to r. Now what about its differentiability? Now this function will be differentiable everywhere except for x equal to 0, we need to check its differentiability at 0. So its left hand derivative at 0, f dash 0 negative, it will be 0 since it is a constant function and its right hand derivative at 0, it will be limit h tends to 0 e to the power minus 1 upon h minus 0 upon h. So we need to solve this limit. So it will be limit h tends to 0 1 upon h e to the power 1 upon h. Now we'll use substitution. We'll let 1 upon h as some t. So we can write this limit as limit t tends to infinite t upon e to the power t which is infinity upon infinity form. If we'll use L'Hopital's rule, we can write limit t tends to infinite 1 upon e to the power t, so it will be 1 upon e to the power infinite and e to the power infinite is infinite. 1 upon infinite it is 0. So left hand derivative is 0, right hand derivative is 0. So this function is differentiable in x belongs to r. Now we need to discuss continuity of f dash x. Now we will find f dash x, it will be e to the power minus 1 upon x into 1 upon x square when x is greater than 0 and l be 0 when x is less than 0. So we need to check the continuity of this function at 0. So we will find its left hand limit, limit x tends to 0 negative f dash x when x is less than 0, this limit it is 0. Now what about its right hand limit? Its right hand limit will be limit x tends to 0 positive f dash x and it will be e to the power minus 1 upon x into 1 upon x square. Now again we let 1 upon x as t, we can write this limit as limit t tends to infinite t square upon e to the power t which is infinity upon infinity form. Now if we will differentiate it twice we will get 2 upon e to the power t which is 2 upon infinite and which is 0. So left hand limit at 0 of f dash x it is 0 and this right hand limit is also 0. So this limit x tends to 0 f dash x it exists and it is equal to 0. So f dash x it is continuous at x equals 0. So answer to this question will be this function f will be continuous differentiable and f dash is also continuous and that's your option number d.